Now that we're done setting up our Facebook ads account and our Facebook pixel is installed and configured onto our website, now we're going to learn about audience research. And the reason that you want to be able to conduct thorough audience research is because you want to be able to tell Facebook what type of audience you're trying to reach out to, what type of audience you want Facebook to bring to your website, and you will be able to spend your ads budget much more effectively this way. In the resources PDF that you have for this course, there's a file called Audience Research Spreadsheet. Open that file and save a copy so that you can start editing. When you open the Audience Research Spreadsheet, it's going to look like this. You have a column for questions and you have a column for answers. There's only four questions that we're going to need to answer. So let's do it together so I can show you guys how simple and effective this method is. So the first question is, who are the authority figures influencers and big brands in your niche to answer each question use google so for this first question i use google to search for the biggest brands in the dog niche and i found this website which will show me the 15 biggest dog companies in the world and their most popular brands so let's scroll down a little bit and start writing down our answers first we have a dog company called mars pet inc so let's add that as one of the answers you want to find about four to five answers for each question because when we'll get to the part where we're creating our ads and you will start putting in your audience's general interests, you want to find as much general interest as you can to broaden your search and find more potential viewers that are related to the niche that you're trying to sell. So this is one company for pet food. Let's scroll down and search for some more big brands. This is also a pet food manufacturer, which we already have, and so is this one. So let's continue scrolling down to companies that are not just food companies. Top dog toy companies, you have Mammoth Pet Products. So let's add that as one of our answers. So we already have two big brands. Let's also add Kong. And a couple more that we will find down here. Dog supply companies, Happy Pet. And one more will be enough. Let's check out top vet care companies and go with this one, MSD Animal Health. So some of the general audience that we are going to try to search for and bring to our website are audiences that have a general interest in these big brands. But we don't only want audiences that are related to only these big brands. We want to broaden our search as much as possible and look for the right potential audience. So the next question and answers that we want to fill in is what books, magazines, and websites does your audience engage with? For this question, I searched Google for dog books, dog magazines, and dog websites. So three different searches, and here's what we found. So for popular dog magazines, Google already gave me these six, seven, eight magazines. So let's start filling in these magazines names. So we have Modern Dog, Dog Fancy. So we already have two magazines, that's enough. Now let's look for some dog books some popular dog books at that. So for this example, I went to Amazon because Amazon sells a whole bunch of books and there's a whole bunch of customer reviews so you can see which books are popular. So I just went onto Amazon and searched for dog books and here we can see some really popular results. Let's add these titles to the popular dog books. We'll only take two because we also have dog websites to look for after this one. A Dog's Perfect Christmas. So we have two popular books, two popular magazines. Now let's add one or two popular dog websites. So a quick search on Google for popular dog websites. Let's go to the first article by Business Insider. So first for pet food, they're recommending Petco. So let's add Petco as one of the popular dog sites. I also know about them. I'm pretty sure that almost everyone knows about them. So one website is Petco. And let's just add one more. How about a site for dog breeders? Sure, we haven't spoken about dog breeder lovers until now. Let's go ahead and try to capture this audience. So we're going to copy this URL and paste it over here. Boom, new layout for you guys. Now the next question is, what types of events does the audience attend? In order to find the answer to this, what do you think we're going to have to write on Google? That's right, popular dog events. So let's see the results. 25 unique dog events in the United States. Sounds good enough, right? We need dog events and our audience is in the United States. So let's see which popular dog events our potential audience loves looking at or going to or has a general interest in. So Paces for Paws is one event, which is a dog race event. So let's add that as one of the events 
that dog lovers love to attend. Puppies and Patriots 5K Run. Let's add that also as a title. Clarence Bark in the Park. Another popular dog event. Rescue Run, which happens in Ohio. What we're doing now is we're really micro-niching our potential audience to try and find secret gems inside these audiences that other advertisers simply do not get to. There is more than one way to do everything, but this is one of the secret methods to really find the best potential audience inside these general interests for dog lovers. Let's also add this pause Chicago 5k walk run. So these are the names of popular dog events that dog lovers love to attend or have a general interest in. Now let's move on to the last question. What other relevant products does your audience use? Once again, I really skimmed through these to make these videos as short as possible for you guys, but you will need to research each and every one of them to see if they really are popular and if there really is a lot of interest in each and every one of these answers that we are giving in the spreadsheet. Now let's move on to the last question. What other relevant products does your audience use? Once again, a Google search. And here we're just going to write some really popular dog products that people love to buy. Let's go to Chewy.com, one of the most popular dog websites. So let's just add in some popular dog categories that relate to products. For example, dog food. For anyone who has an interest in dog food, they are probably dog lovers. They probably have dogs themselves, so they are a relevant audience. We also have dog treats. We have dog toys. So let's add people who have an interest in dog toys. We also have healthcare. So in this example, I want to write dog vet. People who have an interest in vets are most likely people who own dogs. Cleaning and potty. Let's see what else we have. Crates, pens and gates. Beds. Let's go with dog beds. Dog leashes, which is actually the product that I'm going to advertise. So dog leashes. And let's add another one really quick. People who love dog clothes. Okay, so now we have enough general interests to start running our ads on. When we create our ads, we will tell Facebook that these are the general interests that we are looking for in our audiences. And then Facebook will try to find the best potential audience to buy products from our website, from the same audiences that have an interest in all of these answers that we put here below. We will use this chart very, very soon when we'll start creating our ads. So far, we are preparing just as we've prepared in the last lesson, creating our Facebook ads accounts and the Facebook pixel. And soon it's all going to come together. Your assignment for this lesson is to download that audience research spreadsheet onto your computer and start answering each question that you have on the left side. Google search for the answers and put them on the right side. If you haven't heard of the answers that you're putting in, research them on Google, make sure that they are big and popular so that we will be able to grab the correct audience to showcase our website and our products to. Fill in the audience research spreadsheet and I'll see you in the next lesson where you are going to learn how to create converting videos for your ads. This is a very popular subject which a lot of people are having a hard time on and I'm going to simplify it for you just as I've been doing for this whole course up until now. Audience Research Spreadsheet. See you in the next lesson.